Uh, to my next guest, this is more a life and death matter. Miami-Dade County Mayor Carlos Jimenez on the phone with us right now. Mayor, thank you for taking the time. What are you telling your residents? We're telling them that uh, they needed to be prepared. We've uh, we started this some days ago. Uh, that uh, we um, it's been remarkably accurate. The, the the forecast of the National Hurricane Center. They, they stated some days ago that uh, we were going to probably be uh, getting tropical storm force winds. Uh, we did, they don't feel that we're going to have any problems with storm storm surge. So there's no mandatory evacuation order here in Miami-Dade County, but we are. Prepared uh, for the worst, hoping for the best. Uh, we think that uh, tropical storm force winds are going to be what we're going to get. Uh, it's going to be an event that's going to last about 12 hours. And then we're praying for the people up uh, our northern neighbors in the, the northern part of the central and northern parts of the state where it appears that they're, uh, they're in the uh, bullseye for a major, major Category 4 storm. But there is, Mayor, again, no uh, such evacuation being called for in the Miami area. No, because uh, because we, you know evacuations here are based on storm surge, and because of the direction and and the, the fact that the storm will not be a direct hit, we don't expect a, a major storm surge to hit the, the Miami area. And so, our building codes, uh, we you know we we have experienced hurricanes in the past. We have very good building codes. We we ask people to stay in their home unless there is a storm surge issue. Then when we do have storm surge or we feel we're going to have storm surge, then there are certain evacuation zones that we evacuate depending on the strength uh, and the direction of the storm. And since this storm, although it's strong, is not slated to hit us uh, directly, we don't anticipate uh, much flooding or storm surge in Miami-Dade County. That's why we don't have a mandatory evacuation. We have asked people in mobile homes to evacuate uh, uh, voluntarily, because those are are the the structures that w that are the the least safe here in Miami Dade. You know, Mayor, a lot of people have been emailing me from that area, the affected area, where they're calling for the evacuations, or the governor has, and they're stuck in traffic and they're afraid when they run out of gas, there's going to be no gas at gas stations. I know this is a little north of you. I understand that. What do people do in that event? Well, I mean, one of the first things that we tell people here in Miami Dade is to fill up your gas tank. That is the number one thing. As soon as you, as we feel that uh, we're under any kind of threat from a storm, then we say fill up your gas tank. A lot of people here also have generators. Make sure that you have your the tanks for your generators. But uh, number one is fill up your gas tank. Actually, it's like number three. Number one is have three days uh, supply of food, three days supply of water, and then fill up your gas tank. That way, that uh, if you you are under an evacuation order, that you can uh, you can get out. Hopefully they've made uh, arrangements for that, you know, further north. Uh, yeah. I I would heed the governor's warning. This is a very powerful storm. I'm seeing it strengthen right in front of my eyes. I can tell when when the eye starts to shrink, and the eye wall really starts to get well defined that you have a very powerful storm. I was here. I was the emergency operations manager for the city of Miami during Hurricane Andrew. I've seen this kind of storm, and I've seen what uh, what kind of this kind of storm, the damage that it can do. So. Uh, especially in those areas where they are prone to a uh, a, a big uh, storm surge, uh, those people along the coast need to get out, get out of the way. Because storm surge is not wind that's really the, the the big killer. The big killer is always the storm surge. So if you're you're threatened by storm surge, get out uh, and go uh, further inland uh, and then uh, seek uh, seek shelter. Mayor, good words, wise words. Thank you very much. Good luck uh, for yourself and your community. Well, Thank you very much, and, and uh, thank you very much, and may God bless you all.